Hey, this is JR, aka The Tourist. I'm relocating to Australia, but before the move, I took a quick trip to Sydney to have a look around. My scouting trip is the perfect opportunity to take you with me on a quick jaunt around the city. This is by no means exhaustive, but it should give you an idea of how you might spend 24 hours in Sydney. Join me as I spend a day in and around central Sydney, including the rocks, the CBD, and I even find a surprise waiting at Sydney's Botanic Garden. My flight left Hong Kong in the afternoon, meaning we landed Sydney at night. By chance, I happened to be visiting during Vivid Sydney, the city's annual festival of light, music, and ideas. But more on that later. I stayed in the Rocks, a historic area just north of the CBD. Sydney ciders get up early and cafes are a big deal here. So what better way to start the day than with good coffee? It's a flower, I, think. I still go for cappuccino, but who knows, maybe the flat white will win me over one day. Oh yeah, Australians invented avocado toast. Now we know why none of you can afford a house. East of the Rocks is Bangaroo, where you'll find other good options for coffee, as well as a scenic walk along the water. I walked down through Bangaroo to Darling Harbor, which happens to be the home of Sea Life, Sydney's aquarium. Continuing with the aquatic theme, we went for a seafood lunch. There are plenty of dining options along Darling Harbor, many with these seaside views. Part of what makes Sydney such a beautiful city is its coastal location. Sydney has well over a hundred beaches and scores of harbors and coves. This means an assortment of sightseeing tours and cruises. Everything from dinner cruises to whale watching. If you don't have time for a full harbor cruise, you can hop on one of Sydney's ferries. I caught a ferry from Darling Harbor that sails to Mills Point in North Sydney and then continues to Circular Quay, passing directly under the Sydney Harbor Bridge. Not exactly a harbor cruise, but a pretty nice way to get from point A to B.
From Circular Quay, you can catch ferries to all over Greater Sydney. Or you can head south into the CBD, the Central Business District. In the CBD, you'll see plenty of examples of Sydney's 19th century architecture, which covers styles from Gothic to Romanesque. Check out one of Sydney's shopping arcades. The two most well-known are the Queen Victoria Building, or QVB, and the Strand Arcade. If you want to get above it all, try the Sydney Tower, which has an observation deck as well as a bar at the top. As I mentioned earlier, I was in Sydney during the Vivid Festival, which is an annual event that's been happening since 2009. One of the key elements of the festival are the immersive light installations like the one that I went to at the Royal Botanic Garden. What a great way to end the day. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. I publish a new video every week. If you've enjoyed this video or watched any others, then please consider subscribing to the channel and touring the world with me. Thanks again.